In today's video, I'm going to show you how to leverage an amazing ChatGPT setup to create a fully animated story script with consistent characters and scenes throughout. With this innovative approach, you can now create engaging animated stories without needing tons of complicated, expensive tools. You see, storytelling is one of the most powerful ways to connect with your audience, but let's be honest, it can sometimes be intimidating, especially if you don't know where to start. That's exactly why I'm here to show you an easy, stress-free way to bring your stories to life, all for free without spending any time. I'll walk you through how I lip sync my animated characters. The days of struggling to generate consistent characters the hard way are long gone. Thanks to ChatGPT, I'll be showing you how to make this process easy, fun, and accessible with this ChatGPT setup. No more stressing and cracking your head trying to come up with something unique from scratch. This will be the best workflow you'll come across. We'll take still images and transform them into stunning storytelling scenes. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Our animation workflow component is simple to use. Everything we'll do is easy to follow. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create anything you imagine and make it truly your own. You can even use the skills to make money on YouTube or create custom animations for your clients. Sounds interesting, right? Let's dive in. Hello beautiful people, hope you're all doing fine. If it's your first time here, I'm Noli. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, like this video and drop a comment. And lastly, don't forget to share. Thank you. Now let's jump right into the first step, creating our script. Head over to ChatGPT and on the left sidebar, you'll see an option labeled Explore GPTs. You can click it directly or right click to open it in a new tab, whichever works best for you. But before we go on, check out this short video I made using the exact same process I'm about to show you. Newly loved to explore the shoreline every morning, searching for secrets hidden by the waves. One day, she spotted something glimmering in the sand. What is this? Curiosity guided her steps toward the waves, where something magical began to happen. Suddenly, she found herself in an underwater paradise beyond imagination. It's beautiful! Newly had discovered a world that only the bravest hearts could find. It might seem a bit difficult, but it's actually very easy. Just follow me as I show you how I created this video. So let's continue from where we stopped. Once you're there, go to the search bar and type animation script builder. This incredible tool is a creation by Emmanuel Crown, someone I deeply respect in the AI creative space. You can check him out on YouTube. Now click on start chart. Over here, we can begin giving the GPT some prompts so it can generate a script for animation. To start with, I asked it, Write a 3D animation script about a girl who discovered a hidden ocean world. All you need to do is type your prompt and then click the generate button. But since I've already done that earlier, I'll take you straight to the result. Here's the prompt I gave, and as you can see, within just a short moment, ChatGPT was able to generate an entire write-off for us. It's really impressive. It's smart enough to ask us important follow-up questions to make the story even better, like number of characters in the story, beside the girl, are there creatures or other beings? preferred animation style, what's the character's name and appearance, example the hairstyle outfit, etc. Next, it also thoughtfully checks again on the preferred animation style. It went on to ask for the aspect ratio, but to save time, I provided quick answers for this animation project. I only needed one character, so I simply said just one. Instead of manually describing every detail like her hair or outfit, I already had my photo image already, so I uploaded it as a reference and told ChatGPT, use this image for the 3D animation by converting it into 3D animation style. Her name is Noli and she's 20 years old. That way, it had everything it needed to customize the character perfectly. ChatGPT then processed the image and generated a full character description. It named her Noli and provided extra descriptive detail all laid out neatly. Finally, it generated a character prompt I could easily copy and use in any AI tool. Whether I wanted to generate the character elsewhere or stick with ChatGPT, the flexibility is really helpful. Next, it asked if it should generate the image. I replied, yes, go ahead. But I requested the aspect ratio to be 3 to 2. Of course, we know that YouTube, the ideal aspect ratio is 16 by 9. But this GPT version doesn't support 16 by 9 directly, so 3 is to 2 was the next best choice. It then generated the image and it turned out awesome. I then instructed it, this is great, you can go ahead and generate the script. It wrote down a full script titled, Noli and the Hidden Ocean. The story was broken down clearly into scenes, for example, scene 1, Mysterious Beach, you can see it has a short one narration to introduce the story short description 
a visual explanation of what's happening. Shots include narration, a description, and even a text to image prompt to create same visuals outside of ChatGPT, an image to video prompt to turn images into short animation in AI video tools. The structure continues beautifully through scenes like scene two, entering the ocean portal with multiple shots and even dialogue for Noli, final scenes, discovering the hidden ocean world. I really love how organized and detailed this ChatGPT script was. It makes storytelling so much more fun and manageable. After the final scene, it was time for image generation. So I typed go ahead to generate the image for scene one in aspect ratio 3 is to 2 respectively using the prompt for the text to image. However, ChatGPT gave me inconsistent aspect ratio, sometimes horizontal, sometimes vertical, which wouldn't work for me. If you're lucky and it gives you consistent image, you can continue using it directly. But for this tutorial, I decided to generate my images using another text to image AI tool because of the need for consistent 16 by 9 aspect ratio. However, you can see also I've been notified of hitting my free plan limit for image generation request because ChatGPT only allows four image generations per day. And since our tutorial is about how to animate our story for free, the second step is to head on to a text to image website. If you watch this far and you're getting value from this tutorial, please do me a favor and like this video. It's a simple way to encourage me to keep sharing more amazing content like this. Thank you. Now let's move on. The next step is to open your Chrome browser and type ImageFS, then sign in or sign up using the Gmail you use to subscribe to your Google Flow account. If you haven't watched my video on how to subscribe to Google Flow for free, make sure to check it out after this. I'll leave the link in the description. Once you're signed in, click on Try Whisk, then click on Enter Tool. You'll see the interface where you can paste your prompt. Here's what I'll do next. I'll go back to ChatGPT, copy my character description, and combine it with the text to image prompt that ChatGPT gave us from our script. We'll use this combination to generate all our images. As you can see, I copied the text prompt and pasted it into my Google Doc first. Then I went to my animation script and picked the part that describes what she's doing. The first part is already covered by our character description. So I only need to copy the action part, what she's doing, and join them together. After combining, I copy everything and paste it here in Whisk. And just like that, you can see the images it has generated. This is exactly how I created all these images. I copied the full character description prompt and combined it with the action text, the verb, what the person is doing, and pasted it here in Whisk. For example, here she's walking barefooted. And you can see the image it generated. Same with this one. Here's another example. She's kneeling on the beach. And you can clearly see the result. I generated all these images using this exact method. Let's scroll through and see all the images I created. Once done, just click on the three dots and download them one by one to your computer or your phone. Step 3. Turning images into video. To turn images into video for free, there are many tools you can use, like Clean AI, Runway ML, Pixverse, and more. But for this tutorial, we'll be using Helio AI because I really love the quality. Even though these other tools I mentioned earlier have their own unique strengths, which I'll cover in our future videos. Today, we are focusing on Helio AI and it's totally free. To access it, head on to their website. I'll leave the link in the description. If you've signed up before, you need a new Gmail account to get the free credits. They currently offer 500 free credits to new users. So create a new Gmail account, sign up, and you'll receive 500 credits for free. This is the interface. One great thing I love about Helio is the camera movement options it provides. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I use this camera movements and the result I achieved so you can understand how it works. It's very simple. I go back to my script and copy the image to video prompt that ChatGPT gave us for each shot. I paste the prompt here. You can see I added the camera movement and click generate. For the next one, I do the same, upload the photo, go back to my script, copy the image to video prompt, paste it into Helio and click generate. Each video generation will use about 25 credits out of your 500 credits. While the videos are generating, it may take a few minutes. I'll show you how the images turned out 
and the effects of the camera movement we used. Step four, voiceover. For voiceover, you can use free tools like ClipCharm, Eleven Labs, or even the tool we are going to use for our editing, which works like CapCut and has lots of great features. In this tutorial, I'll use Eleven Labs because I think it offers the most realistic voice quality. Before going to Eleven Labs, I go back to ChatGPT, copy all the narrations, and put them in one place in my Google Doc. This makes it easy to copy and paste everything into Eleven Labs. I also put all the dialogues together. Now let's head to Eleven Labs. This is the interface. Click on Instant Speech. You get 10,000 credits every month to use. Here you can choose different voices. There are many options, including different languages. You can also filter by the latest, most used, or trending voices. I choose narrative and story because we are working on a story and a narrative voice. You can select the voice type like female or male, young or mature. You can also skip customization if you prefer and just choose a voice directly. For this video, I'll pick a female voice because that's what I want here. I go back to my Google Doc, copy all the narration text, paste it into 11 labs and click generate. Newly love to explore the shoreline every morning, searching for secrets hidden by the waves. One day, she spotted something glimmering in the sand. Curiosity guided her steps toward the Next, I copy the dialogue text. I don't want this video to be too long, searching for other voices. So I'm going to use same voice I used for the narration. The only thing I'll just do is adjust the speed to make it sound different from the narration. Then click generate. Let's listen. Use it's beautiful. You'll notice it sounds a bit slower than the narrator, and that's exactly what I want. Perfect. Before we continue, let's take a look at the video he looked generated. You can see this one. I chose the pan left camera movement and it beautifully performed that smooth pan left, making the video more dynamic and captivating. Now look at this magical video. The camera movement really helped deliver the message perfectly. This third one has no camera movement, but it still animated the image so beautifully beautifully it's truly awesome step five lip sync next we'll move on to lip syncing we will be using dream face for this step i'll leave links to all these tools in my telegram channel you will find the link in the video description open dream face click on video lip sync choose your avatar and upload the video you want to lip sync then click import and select the sound we downloaded from 11 laps here's the sound file in my folder click confirm and then click animate a few moments later what is this this is beautiful our last step is editing to put everything together into a complete animated story video we'll be using this amazing app called shortcuts it works almost exactly like CapCut, but offers even more features like ai writing auto cut scripts to video ai upscaler text to speech background remover and so much more to start a new project click create then select the animated images in the right order and add them to the timeline for the first video i'll reposition it because i want to start with a wide shot then move to a closer shot here you notice as she's walking her shoe disappears so i'll cut that part off and join it with the close up shot Click here to add the voiceover. There is also an option to extract sound from a video. From here, I will choose the main voiceover I downloaded from 11 Labs. Next, I bring in the animated image we lip synced in Dream Face and split the voiceover so it doesn't interfere when she's speaking. You will do the same, splitting the voiceover to match each dialogue section, then add the second dialogue video and cut out the Dream Face logo. You can also choose music to play in the background to make the story more engaging. This app has many options to choose from, but I'll go with soothing because I want a calm, relaxing vibe. I'll select this track and lower the volume so it doesn't clash with the voiceover. You can also add transitions to bring more life to the story. For example, here I used the butterfly effect to make it feel more magical and even added a magical sound effect 
you can also choose to add captions it offers a variety of caption templates to choose from i always prefer a plain caption so i'll go with this one and click generate captions and here it is very beautiful you can adjust the size however you like to make it fit perfectly and finally you can export it in high resolution and that's it for this tutorial if you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up it truly really motivates me to keep creating more content like this if you have any questions drop them in the comments below i'll be happy to help and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my new uploads see you in my next video bye for now